guys welcome back to my channel so I just got my hair done and it's the spring twist I'm still getting used to it but it's okay um, today I'm going to a restaurant called Asia Town and it's in PH so I'm gonna take you guys along with me and I just wanted to start a series where I show you guys places that I discover in PH so in case you're here and you want somewhere to hang out I'll be your plug okay so stay glued to my channel I would keep on updating um, you guys because most people think PH is dead there's nowhere to go and you need to know someone to have fun to be honest you're absolutely right like you definitely need to know someone to have fun and it's not as bubbly or as lively as Lagos so um yeah I'm just gonna explore the city because I'm gonna be here for a while and I would document the process. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the juicy moments. So I've actually been here once before, I was here last year and everything still looks pretty much the same which is actually a good thing because it shows that the maintenance is A1 and that's very rare to find in Nigeria so everything was very neat, very tidy, almost as if it's like a brand new restaurant so I give them credit for that. They actually did have a wide variety of starters as you would see in the video. Well, they had potato samosa so that was very interesting to try. You would see my review later on in this video. I just took one to be on the safe side. And I believe this is puff puff even though it says sweet chili buns but it tastes like puff puff to me so whatever. <laughs> and I had some beef samosa, some peppered gizzard of course I love me some peppered gizzard and some vegetable spring rolls. And this is a potato samosa guys. It just, it didn't taste right, I don't know. It just tasted like potato porridge wrapped in pastry like it just I don't know it's not for me I know some people definitely might like this but it just wasn't for me but besides that everything else was amazing like the food tastes so good so yeah like just that the potato samosa wasn't for me at all Next we are going for our main course. Now as the restaurant is an Asian one so they did have a lot of Asian food. I would show you guys the menu. I'm so sorry I couldn't open everything. Obviously people are going to eat that food so I just can't like open it and show you guys what's in it. But um, yeah I was basically trying to decide what I wanted to eat. Nothing was looking appealing yet but finally we found something. <laughs> I love Singapore noodles but unfortunately opening it up I realized the pasta they used wasn't the one I normally like my Singapore noodles to be made with so I decided to try the um, I think this is the vegetable curry rice yeah that's it and this was really good guys I 100% recommend trying this out if you go visit this place and another thing I love about the restaurant is they provide the option of Nigerian food I'm sorry, I'm not about to eat African food in Asia Town, like no. But if you do want that, then they cater to you as well. I 
I decided to try the chicken Manchurian rice or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it tasted really good as well. So yeah, I'm a rice lover, so I guess anything rice, I would absolutely love it. <laughs> and the only thing I would say I didn't like about today's um, menu is it didn't have enough protein. The last time I came, there was just so much chicken, fish, beef, all of that jazz. But today, I don't know, it just, there was nothing really that I could add to my meal. So I just went for oyster and some beef and chili sauce or something like that. So this is a salad menu. It's very nice as well. Um, I didn't bother getting any salad. Guys, the food is so tasty. Like, it's not too spicy, it's not too salty, it's not under seasoned. Like, everything tasted so good. And also, the rice was well cooked, the meat was well cooked, the oyster. This is my first time trying oyster, so I can't say if um, they got it exactly right or, you know, if it could have been better, but it tasted good. So, that's the most important thing. For the drink menu, I was actually very impressed, you know, they had everything, um, your basic cocktails, your wines, your soft drinks and all of that jazz and they were very, very affordable. It's also an event center, so yeah, there were birthdays going on, meetings, etc. So you might experience some noise in the background, but nothing, you know, too discomforting. It was just okay. Finally, dessert. They had some fruit salad, some ice cream, and there's something I'm going to show you guys very soon. Please do not try this. I have no idea what it was. The manager actually explained to me it's like cinnamon with um i don't know like i can't remember what he called it but he explained what was inside and i was like okay since we're being adventurous let me just try this out guys no never never ever ever in your life try this it i couldn't i can't really place the taste but it just no i wanted to cry really like you're gonna see my expression I'm not faking it guys, I wanted to cry so much, like why did I subject my tongue to such misery, oh my goodness. And you know what's so funny, I was like you know what, let me try it again, maybe maybe something was off the first time. So I had ice cream to like wash out the taste and then I decided to give it another go. Nope, mm -mm. it was worse. So yeah, I never tried that again and I recommend never trying it again, I just stuck to what I knew which is ice cream. So guys, before you experiment, just stick to what you know, okay? <laughs> and they have a buffet service every Sundays, so it costs 7,000 Naira for an adult and then 3,500 or 3,000, I can't remember, for a child. And I think that's relatively affordable considering, you know, the variety of food. I've never been here on a weekday or at nighttime. It's always on a Sunday. So I'm sorry, I can't exactly tell you guys how it's gonna be, but I feel like it'll be less noisy since it's like at nighttime. So it's more like of a romantic setting. Um, and I don't know how their menu is on a weekday. I should have asked them, apologies. Hey guys, so I just got back home and it was actually really fun. The food was delicious, the ambience, the um, customer service, you know, everything was great and I would 100% recommend going there. Um, on Sundays as well, I think they have like a buffet service. So um, yeah, like it was all around good. Now I just need to wash my face and um, take off my clothes and continue editing my other video. But like I'm still getting used to this hair. It's really nice, but I don't know if it like suits me. But um, yeah guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Anywhere I go or anywhere I discover in PH, I would definitely take you guys along with me. So whenever you're in PH, you can have fun, okay? Okay guys, see you later. Yeah.